Today is Friday, November the 8th. Uh, let me uh, set up this in the money signals. These are notifications that uh, your options are about to expire er, and they are in the money. To do that, go to setup and application settings and then under positions you'd see it. you can set this up two weeks before expiration or one week to expiration okay let's say one week to expiration and that means that this DE for example is expiring today okay there's not nobody else but if you wanted to see next Friday you would do two weeks to expiration And again, positions and two weeks before expiration. Set either one of the two would do fine. So DE is expiring today and it's, it is expiring in the money as these are calls. And uh, because the stock is above my short and my long, let's take a look, DE. What is going to happen is that we're going to, this is a maximum loss, okay? Whatever it was right here, my maximum loss was $225. That's going to be it. And what is going to happen is that both the short and the long calls will be assigned stock and the options will disappear. But because some are short and some are long, they cancel each other. You don't need to worry about it anymore, okay? And that's a complete loss and uh, keep in mind this could happen but if you follow the strategy that I, that I am following this will occur occasionally and when it does it subtracts from your profit but in theory your probability of success is much larger and so you're going to have more uh, successes and failures and that will compensate this is why despite something like that happening we are ahead here and look you click here PL for the year and you see that I have plenty of losers but I have more winners okay and as you can see some are th of them are close to 300, close to the 1% of my account. So in the end, we have almost $800 in profit so far. Notice how all of a sudden we were in a losing range and now we're in a winning range. That's because we need to be close enough to the end of the expiration period before we can start seeing those profits. So it requires patience in our part. Once you enter a trade, it's going to be a loser or a not much winner for a while unless the stock moves strongly in our favor or against us. Okay. All right. So uh, click here on the PL from the opening to see which stocks are we need to consider whether to close or not. And for example, KBH is one of them. And here we have a, a profit on a KBH. And here is where we are. Uh, here is where we are right here. And we have, uh, look at the, how much profit as opposed to maximum possible. So our maximum possible is 297. We are right now 208. And how long before expiration? next week we only have a few days so in a few days our delta can switch switch from one side to the other so you need to consider is it worth uh, keeping this or am i running a risk by staying a few days more okay here is a trade and i say fine the stock has moved plenty enough and i have other technical analysis reasons for which i just want to get out of it, particularly because we are close to expiration. I don't want to end up with a loser because I wouldn't take great profits. So let's close this trade. Okay, it's a short call vertical and I'm going to close by a long call vertical and set that off. And 
then we lock in our profits. That's KBH. Uh, let me see who else. DVN. Remember that we modified this before earnings, came down strongly with earnings, but it's since recover. Okay, let's see, analyze trade. And here we are um, with 29 days. There's a lot to expression, but we are very, very close to our maximum profit. And our maximum profit is 310 when we are at 263. So it doesn't, you know, we have made the money we want to make very close to it in a very short period of time. It doesn't make any sense to wait too much longer. So I'm going to close that too. No, no need to risk too much, okay? There will be plenty of other opportunities. Don't feel too bad about it. Uh, and I have also my technical analysis reasons, which I would explain in the course. Uh, we have then, uh, let me see who else down here, Adobe. Okay, that's moved strongly. And you can see that it gapped uh, the other day and now is closing to a new closing high. This could stay here for uh, quite a bit of time. So let's say analyze trade. And here's where we are. How much more are we going to make if we hold on to this? Keep the $30 is to December the 6th. And that's December the 6th is 28 days from now. So I would say it's not worth it. Okay. Thank you for joining me for this video. Please be sure to subscribe to this channel by clicking on the subscribe button below. Once you have done that, be sure to also click on the bell so you get a notification of future videos coming up in this channel. Be sure also to click like if you enjoyed this video and feel free to share it with your friends and family. Thank you very much. Don't forget to visit www.putcalledgenie.com Then go and subscribe. You could simply subscribe as a visitor it is free and you would have access to several videos of interest for traders you would be directed to this registration page it is free once you have subscribed as a visitor feel free to go to the tutorials and select the free videos these are videos of general interest for all traders thank you very much